My background was in mathematics, and when I got my first computer science job, um, there was no element of mathematics in that position. So I wanted to see what is out there that uses mathematics and computer science and bring value to a company. And that's how I found out about data science. I went to a grad school for data science um, and I finished my master's and then I came to Springboard to hone in and improve some of the skills because I was still not doing very well in interviews. A typical mentor call uh, looked like, well, it was a weekly call, and I mainly talked about um, topics that I was learning for that week. So on top of the Springboard curriculum, I was learning some stuff on the side that I was interested in, like further, um, further resources in machine learning or maybe deep learning and then I would try to apply those to the capstone projects. Um, before that, my mentor and I would get in a call to make sure that I understood the topics correctly. And then we would uh, go on from there to see if there was any other topics that was interesting for me uh, that was kind of an extension of that and that could apply to the capstone project. So my mentor helped a lot in um, understanding um, different machine learning techniques and because he was a machine learning engineer at Airbnb so he has very deep knowledge about the statistical side of how different algorithms work and so he would refer me to a lot of articles and textbooks um, that would really in-depth explain what certain algorithms are doing so that was really a good resource for me to learn from. For each capstone project I had a goal and the first capstone project, my goal was to work on deep learning. And so I studied on deep learning and did a project on semantic analysis using convolutional neural networks. And for my second project, I really wanted to focus on reinforcement learning. So for that one, I used uh, Flappy Bird as a platform and applied reinforcement learning to see how I can teach a robot to play Flappy Birds by itself. It helped a lot because a lot of my time was spent with my LinkedIn profile editing and resume editing um, through the career coaching uh, program. And my current job actually, um, I didn't apply to my current job, but my manager actually contacted me on LinkedIn because he saw my profile and was impressed with what I had there. And so, you know, whatever special magic that the career program did on my LinkedIn profile worked for me. <laughs> Everyone says data science is 80%, data wrangling, data cleaning. I didn't really get that feel when I was doing my capstone projects and at Springboard, but when I got my first job, I spent the first three, four months just cleaning data and figuring out where everything is. So it's actually true. Um, and you'll learn to realize that that is literally maybe more than 80%, 95% of your work. So that was my biggest surprise. My favorite part about my experience with Springboard is um, actually not the learning aspect, but the community aspect. So even after I graduated, I'm still in touch with a lot of people from my cohort um, and even recent cohorts where I can help current students with their capstones or their issues. And sometimes I help with their resume editing or LinkedIn profile editing right now. So um, I like how even after I graduated, I can still be part of the community and help everyone out.